Hi everyone, so this video is going to be a sketchbook session where you just draw along with me and watch me draw. Um, but first of all, I wanted to, I was supposed to do this in another video when the sketchbooks came, but um, I'm too excited so I'm going to try to use this in this video. And this is the Etcher Mini Palette. It's a porcelain palette and I actually contacted them a long time ago um, when they were first developing their sketchbooks because I really wanted to try their sketchbooks and they were willing to send me some for me to review. And they also sent me this little palette and I'll feature it more in the next video where the, I actually get the sketchbooks but in this one I just wanted to um, use it because I'm too excited. So it's the cutest little thing. It comes with a little color chart that you can put what colors you are using. And this is really interesting paper. I like the feel of that a lot. I hope it's similar to what's in their sketchbooks. And there's these little felt things that kind of keep it from rattling around in the pan. I'm not sure if that's for um, for like transportation, um, for like shipment, or if you're supposed to keep these, but I'm gonna be keeping them. So this is where you put your colors, and this is the cutest thing ever. And sorry to those who have tripophobia because this is a little bit unsettling to look at because <laughs> it looks like those creepy flowers and I'm going to put my colors in there okay I'm going to oh man I'm so indecisive oh my gosh it's so tiny oh my gosh <laughs> I think I overfilled it I wonder how long each of these colors will last I feel like using a more expensive brand might be better because then a little goes a long way with expensive watercolor and the wells also get deeper as you- oh, I see. These ones are bigger and these ones are smaller, but I kind of want to keep it divided by brand because I might keep my my Shinhan ones um, in one section and then my Schmincke ones in another one, maybe some Kotman. Not sure. But here's the little color chart for that. It's so cute. And the little mixing tray. How does this- let's see how this works. Pretty nice. It's a very solid feeling because it's porcelain. It actually feels nice to mix on compared to plastic. I'm so used to plastic. So it's time to actually draw something after obsessing over that palette. I'm just gonna start by drawing some reference photos just to warm up. I'm gonna use the actual pencil and not this light brown one. I'm just never really drawn like um, these kind of cats, like I mostly just draw house cats. So this is definitely an experience. That looks nothing like the reference photo. Why are tiger so hard to draw? Tigers are so hard to draw, you think you know what they look like, and then you try to draw them and you don't really know what they look like. Um, I'm gonna have to work on that. This isn't a tiger, I'm drawing a hare. Just trying to warm up with some animal studies. Quick studies. Nothing too in-depth. Okay, I think I'm gonna move on from studies because I'm just not really feeling those. I kind of feel like drawing some characters. Um, I'm not really sure why. Thank you. 
So I just drew a bunch of stuff um, without talking. Kind of zoned out a bit there. I'm still sort of warming up and I just want to try out this watercolor palette. So I'm gonna just drop in some colors. Probably too orange. This skin color watercolor is kind of opaque. It's like semi-opaque. Because it's so light. Um, but there must be a lot of like filler or white in it. Maybe the tigers should have color. <laughs> This is such a small water brush, I can't find my other one. And I can't be bothered to use a real brush. It is a really small mixing area, but it's kind of the point because it's travel size. I wonder how long this amount of paint will last in this palette. Because it doesn't look like a lot of paint, but it does go a long way because it's watercolor. Mix some blue with the orange to make it duller, dark color. Kind of just feel like drawing people today. I don't really know why. I feel like I said that before though. <laughs> Today just feels like a drawing day, not a painting day. Color this in a little bit. I'm gonna try to use colors straight from the pan and just blend them together. Or maybe not, that actually might be a really bad idea. Oh, that's too much pink. Too much. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm using too much water. It's fun to just drop watercolor in on a sketchbook page. Sometimes you might find some interesting color combinations that you wouldn't normally use. And it's just a sketchbook, so you can just do whatever you want. Oh my gosh, I just got way too much paint. So much paint. Pants are something that are so hit or miss for me with any character. <laughs> it's just, I find it hard. I tend to rush drawing pants and make deciding where the wrinkles will go and like how much of the leg shape to show and then how much do I show it hanging off the person. It's kind of difficult. <laughs> and that's really dark pants. Let's put some here too. My style jumps around so much. I guess not really my style, but my level of details. I change that up a lot, like, you know, dot eyes over here, more drawn eyes here. Um, but overall, I think it still looks the same. It's just, I just change it up a lot. So I'm never fully satisfied with how I draw things. Or I'll draw something and I'll like it and I'll try to like recreate it and I can't. So then I will try again and again and again and it won't work and it will just look different. That's just me though, because to other people's styles look a little more cohesive than how the artist perceives it. I kind of want to do some flat brush stuff um, with this character here. Okay, so I don't really know what I meant when I said flat. I don't even remember what I said actually. <laughs> But I want to use a flat brush. This isn't really meant for watercolor, but I'm doing a very 
small amount of things, so small amount of water. I'm not seeking properly. It's a color I wouldn't normally make her sweater. I can't really think of anything. Maybe just like a super pale purple. I say as I put peach down. Like a dusty pink. That's kind of a nice color. I'm thinking she's a very pale person um, with a very rosy skin color. Man, I really need to clean out that purple and replace it because it has so much of the clear part of the paint. The binder or filler or whatever it is. Watercolor always dries lighter than you expect and less saturated. Kind of like this warm color palette I have going on. I realize I've been covering my mouth this whole time. I like to include texture in my work, but I never do it in a way that I, like I never mindfully do it. I think I focus so much on drawing. I need to focus more on painting and working with media and finding texture. So I'm kind of leaning into that with this page. I resisted the urge to flip the page and draw more things and I just want to work with the paint a little bit and just mess around. One of the biggest tips I can offer and just a huge general tip is to put, um, to make things stand out from each other, put dark colors beneath them or like around the lighter areas and vice versa. And that's how you draw focus to places and make things stand out. Okay, I like his outfit. Um, I think I'm gonna make his shirt like a very turquoisey, but very light. Very pastel, dusty outfits. With some shadows and I think I want his skin tone to be yellow just because I like that color with um, other colors I like that color with other colors I'm really just focusing too much on this and not speaking I've been watching a lot of James Gurney videos if you haven't seen his channel, please check out his channel. He uh, does a lot of on-location uh, plein air paintings. And he's really good at what he does. Um, he has a very like loose, colorful style um, with his like sketches and his um, quicker work. I think they're so beautiful. And it's just so interesting to watch him paint and watch him give tips about stuff. So um, it's been making me want to do that. And I don't know, maybe I should do a video? of me doing that? I'm not sure. It's always hard to film outside. You just, it's hard to see if you're getting a good shot. It's, there's just so many um, variables. I like the way the colors on the ear turned out. I know that's like weird and specific, but I think it's an interesting red. The way it's interacting with the colors around it, I think is interesting. Her face kind of scares me. <laughs> I really like the marks you can make with them. Um, flat brushes. I always forget that flat brushes are super cool to use. I 
I actually picked up this pencil. Um, it was recommended by Dina Norland. It's just an 8B pencil. Um, but I want to use it to add darker details to my sketches. And since it's 8B lead, it's like the darkest of the darks. Bit of blue will look good here, I know, because it's orange and blue and orange always look good together. Kind of have this blue background theme going on. Well, that's not part of it. This is, though. Totally ruined that tiger, but I think it's interesting anyway. I really like this dark pencil for sketching, it's super cool. Um, what's the name of the dog? Doberman. I like their faces, <laughs> they have good faces and ears. So I want to draw one here. Uh, and they also have eyebrows, which I really appreciate. The head got messed up. Gotta fix the head. <laughs> Grass for the dog. And orange for the dog too, cause why not? We're drawing a Doberman. Might as well put the coloring. This is from a reference, by the way. The things that are from references are this, um, this, 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 this. Um, but everything else is just kind of from my head. I like to mix it up between references and um, just imagination stuff. Sharpen up my skills and just draw freely. Just depends on the day though, it's not like a hard rule. So I really hope you enjoyed this sketchbook session. I kind of started off not really feeling it, but then near the end, once I started to lean into the colors more, it started to get a lot more fun. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you drew anything with me while I did this, let me know what it was. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.